This morning, a discarded coffee cup at the Philadelphia airport has helped solve a 46-year-old cold case murder. The arrest of David Sinopoli marks the beginning of the court process, and we hope that it brings some sense of relief to the victim's loved ones. 68-year-old David Sinopoli has been arrested for the death of Lindy Sue Beekler, who was 19 when she was found stabbed in her Lancaster, Pennsylvania apartment. At the time of the murder in 1975, a potential suspect's DNA was taken from the crime scene, but an arrest was never made. In the 1990s, when genetic genealogy emerged, that DNA was analyzed, but still no arrest and no leads. The DNA database found only very distant relatives of the suspect dating back to the 1600s. Investigative genetic genealogy like this should be treated only as a lead generator, a tip. It's a highly scientific tip, but a tip just the same. Famed genetic genealogist C.C. Moore researched those very distant relatives and their immigration history. She determined the suspect's family tree extended to a small town in Italy where many residents migrated to Pennsylvania. With only 2,300 Italians living in Lancaster at the time of the murder, she was able to focus on Sinopoli, who was living in the same apartment complex as Beekler in 1975. As police recently followed him, they picked up a coffee cup he had dropped in the trash at the Philadelphia airport. They ran the DNA. It was a match. It's remarkable to think that in 1975, DNA didn't exist, in, at least in the, in the criminal court system. Sinopoli is now being held without bail. Since C.C. Moore began using this new approach, looking at a suspect's immigration history, it's helped solve two more cases. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.